Yo, what's happening, folks? What's going on? Hope everybody's doing well. I'm doing pretty okay, pretty good. So, um, yeah. Today, uh, we got some new, we got some interesting stuff to try new today that I haven't really tried before. We'll see how it goes. Um, I'll wait for somebody to say something. There we go. Nine B Alex Mimpria Mohammed, what's happening? What's going on? Okay, all right, we got some people here, so let's jump into this. Let's get into it. So let's try to figure out the top and bottom placement here. It's about right. Something like that. I could probably zoom in. Here we go. This will be the little bunny here on my paper. Oh, we got a lot of people here. Uh, hey, what's going on, Serge? What's happening? Lynn, what's going on? Susan, hello. Enrique, what's happening? Uh, souls? Nah, bro. You better go find your own bunny rabbit, bro. See. Just trying to figure out the um, what you call it, kind of the outline shape of this fat little bunny rabbit here. You know, what's the envelope of this thing? The outer limits. Maybe that's good. It's hard to tell. Could be the fatter. Are the angles a little more steep. I don't know. I think so. I think he's fatter up this way. See this line. Yeah, pretty close. Pretty close. Let's compare the width here. With the height. That'll I'll know right away. Maybe. <laughs> it's a bit tricky, right? Um, so Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Let's just start blocking it in a little bit more. I'll eventually know. I'll eventually know if something is wrong. I might not know till the end of the drawing, but at least I'll know eventually. So let's see. The width of it, and then at the bottom... that right? No. Let's try again. So the width goes almost to the bottom of the eye. A little bit lower than the eye. So that can't be right. That can't be right. I drew this way too big. So the eye is like up here somewhere. So its eyes are here. That helps. I would have drawn this thing a little too big. Just a little too big. Brian, what's happening? Cubs win. Thanks for tuning in. Amex, Amex Jam, what's happening? Andy. 
66 Lane, what's going on? Everybody. Amanda, what's happening? No worries. It's all good. Mm. Let's try to get the head of this little bunny in here. What an interesting shape we got going on here. A giant fat rabbit. Let's try to get its legs in here. I have an idea for later on for some watercolor on this one. Similar to what I did last week, I think would be pretty nice. We'll try something New, but similar, I guess. But I do have some interesting new tools today to try out. Which may become my regular tools, actually. But we'll get to that in a second. Did I draw it too fat? Is it too fat now? It's hard to tell. Hard to tell. Maybe he's okay. Maybe he's okay. Let's see. Side of his head there. Now he might be too fat, actually. <laughs> but then that would change the proportions I kind of already have figured out. So I don't know. Don't know. Hmm. Hey, Yammy, what's happening? Jeremy, what's going on? A plump rabbit has never hurt anyone. I don't know. I don't know about that. There's probably some rabbit attacks out there. You never know. <laughs> but that's true. I get what you're saying. I get it. I'm just gonna make, I'm gonna make this just try to look good. I'm not gonna worry about it being perfect. As long as it looks decent enough, should be fine. I didn't think I would struggle this much with this fat little rabbit. I thought this would be easy. It always happens. I always pick like, oh, this will be easy. Just kidding. It's not. Why would I ever think it would be easy? Ah. So the width of it goes... Boom, right there. Okay, so the width of it goes to the top of the nose. So, yeah, it does need to, it does need to be fatter. It needs to be more fat. Boop. Right there to the top of the nose. This does need to come out. Okay, can do that. What's going on? Thief93 on uh, Twitch. What's happening, bro? What's going on? Brooklyn, Brooklyn, how's it going? Uncle Bosco, what's going on, bro? 
on YouTube, SG Johnson, Sam. We got a lot of people today. Its back hips look wider than its body, so maybe slim the side a bit above the back legs. Yeah, I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. Let's get rid of these lines. Let's get rid of these guidelines. Because I kind of got something blocked in now, so I need, a, need something a little more. Maybe we'll see what I'm doing here. So we got this. This goes up to about here. And then... Okay, looks good. Let's try this side. So, I'm trying to clean up my line work here. Pretty fluid line all the way up, so, okay, something like that. For now, it's good. You know, when I draw this with the ink, it's gonna be all fluffy looking anyway. It's not even gonna be perfect lines, so. This kind of doesn't really matter. Yeah, it doesn't need to be as, like, such a straight line. Got a big ear. Got a giant ear. Pretty big, okay. And then this part. This ear comes down, let's get rid of this line. I think that looks pretty good. His eye's probably too big, that's probably what's throwing me off too. Let's try to relocate this thing. So if that's where his eye is supposed to be, this should be moved. This should be up here. Barely see his other eye. It's so weird. Okay, let's compare his head and his eyes to the bottom. So his eye is actually... Over a bit more. So I was actually over a bit more, believe it or not, believe it or not, definitely is. Because that's what the guideline tells me. When I look at it, that's what it's showing me. So I'm going to go with it. And this side of the head lines up with the leg, so the leg should be like here. There we go. I guess, I don't know. Such a weird angle. It's a difficult angle, it's a difficult angle. It's hard to see what's going on there. Drop my pencil. Okay. I'm not body shaming this buddy, bro. This bunny, bro. This is, uh, I'm speaking facts, man. It's a fat little bunny, right? I mean, 
You want me to lie and say it's a skinny bunny? It's not a skinny bunny. It's a cute little fat, puffy, fluffy bunny. Wouldn't it be weird if I was like, ah, oh, look at this skinny little bunny. <laughs> He's fluffy. Hey, how, how long have we been doing this? 15 minutes already? Oh my gosh. Gotta get, get going on the ink here. But I just feel like something's off here. Something's just off. And I'm trying to figure out what it is. So his head actually comes out. His cheeks puff out a little bit more. Ugh. All right, good enough. Good enough, I think. For now, it's going to look weird until I fill it all in and put whiskers on it and stuff. Then it'll look more like a little bunny, I think. And we got all these whiskers and eyebrows and texture and stuff. But I think for now, it's probably, I don't know, it's probably okay. I hope. Probably okay. I think it's like lacking form, so kind of looks weird to me, you know. So we got all this like texture, and this rounding of the rounding of his body. Okay. Um, what's going on, Tomcat? Thanks for tuning in. Yeah, exactly. Most bunnies are fluffy anyway, so it's all good. Uh... What do you guys think? I think it looks good. I think it's good. I think it's a good place to start with the ink. Somebody had a question about something, like glass pens or something. Um, did I miss it? What's a glass pen? Yeah, all right, let's talk about it. Um, yeah, Trinity also asked that earlier, so here we go. I'll show you guys. Got some glass pens right here. Got three different ones, but they're all the same, just different colors, you know what I'm saying? So... Let's see, it has like a little spiral. So, it has a little spiral here. It's really hard to see it. But all the ink kind of goes into there, and then you dip it in this, I got this, I bought some black ink. So I'm just gonna dip it in this ink, and then draw with it like that. So, I'm not gonna be using the microns today. I'm gonna be using these uh, ink, just one, one of these. Ah, oh, hey, my cat jumps on my lap. Perfect timing. Right when I'm about to start working. Come on, buddy. And I, I got some white ink, but I tried using this. I tried testing it um, with this kind of thing. This white ink just, it writes so differently. It doesn't really work as well. I don't know if it's the ink. I don't know if it's white ink in general. It just doesn't do as well for some reason. Um, you know, I have a test page somewhere. Where is it? I'll show you guys. So I tried, you know, I was trying to write with it. See, I was doing like paintbrush writing with it and it's just not as good. It's it's much more liquidy. It doesn't really cover as well. Um, you know, it's a lot more watery, but it doesn't, 
you could probably barely see it. See these white lines here? This is the white ink writing with these glass pens, believe it or not. And it's not strong at all. I mean, you can barely even see it. You can barely see it compared to like, you know, if I, what I'm going to use is this Posca pen, this paint pen. You know, if I write next to it, you can see how much the difference. I mean, complete, complete difference. Um, so yeah, the white ink, unfortunately, doesn't really work the way I wanted. So for now, I'm just I'm going to keep using this, these Posca ink or Posca paint pens for the white. Um, you know, or the other pens that I have. So yeah, anyway. But the black ink works really well. The black ink works really, really well. Let's lighten this little buddy up. Mm -hmm. So how long do you guys guess before I break one of my glass pens? How long are you guys going to guess? One year, one week, one month, one day. I got these particular gla glass pens on Amazon. Um, you know, I'm sure they have them on Etsy. They got them everywhere, you know. But these were pretty cheap. I think they were like eight dollars for these three or ten dollars or something for these three um i only wanted one i just wanted one to test it out but they gave me three and i was like all right i guess i have to choose it was either get it was either get three for ten dollars or one for ten dollars so i was like well i might as well get three right so it was very difficult to find like you know one just one but yeah there's a bunch of glass pens out there so yeah, I'm just gonna use this black ink. I have a paper towel here on the side as well. And um, yeah, that's what I'm gonna be, just gonna be dipping into it. Like, I'll show you guys. I'll try to zoom in here. So I'm just gonna dip into it. I'll show you guys what the tip looks like. Probably won't be able to see much, but basically, See how it's like spiraled? So the ink goes into these these grooves, these spiral grooves. And it lets you draw for a while, you know, it's pretty good. Um, we're gonna try it out and just see. You know, in the past I've tried writing with like metal, those metal um, fountain pens, like the nibs. I may try them again, but they've always like scratched the paper and they never wrote very long. I could write like three strokes and then I have to re-dip it they just kind of sucked uh, from, you know, I don't know if I had like crappy, just cheap ones or something, but I don't know. But this, uh, you know, these, let me see, come on now. Don't make me a liar. This was working really well the other day. So let's try this out here. So, I mean, it writes pretty much the same size as like some of the microns that I was using, so. You know, we'll see if there's any accidents with these, you know, a big drip on the page or something, but so far so good with the really small amount of testing that I did. You know, I just tried it for like, you know, two minutes or something. I, I wanted to really test them here on the stream mostly. Uh, but I just wanted to see how they would work because I wanted to make sure they work before I plan a whole stream for using them. But see, I mean, I can do, I can go pretty, pretty long and just, it keeps going, you know? So, a big deal. You know, it's going to take me a little while to get used to, it goes on the page a little bit differently than ink pen but it's still pretty much the same thing. So, yeah, what do you guys think? Pretty cool, right? Something different. So I think I just about run out of ink there. Oh yeah, so you just keep rotating the, the pen, kind of keep spinning it, and it'll keep the ink flowing, get, find a good spot that it writes on.
but I'll probably just re-dip it soon. But yeah, I mean, you can see I've been drawing a few minutes. I've done a lot of a lot of little strokes here and stuff, and still going. So I, I'm happy with this thing. I, I think this is a better way to go for me. I think than than the microns because they end up just like I, I I'm not good with those with the tips of them. They don't seem to last very long. And with this, all I'd have to buy is just new ink. You know, I have a whole big thing of ink, and the ink was only you know a couple dollars. To be honest, it's pretty smooth when I write. It, I don't feel it's scratching or anything, you know. It's a little more rough than like the Micron pins. It's a little more rough, it's, but not. But it's not rough. I hope that makes sense. It's not rough, it's just more, slightly, slightly more. It's not rough, it, you feel like a sharpness to it or something. It's hard to explain. It, it feels pretty smooth, really smooth. I don't have a problem with it. You, you can just feel kind of the paper underneath the pen, so to speak. It's 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 really hard to explain. You have to experience it, you know. But it, it does feel smooth. It definitely feels smooth. I, I really liked it. So I'm going to be careful here at the bottom because I want to add some grass in front of it. I'm going to add, like, grass and flowers, kind of like I did with that lamb last week. If anybody watched last week's stream, if anyone was here, I did that lamb. I'm going to do like a similar thing. We'll probably use some different colors. Maybe we can experiment a little bit more. Yeah, you know, I'm still getting, i got to get used to these glass pins. But uh, so far, I'm happy. I'm happy. It just makes more sense to me. I don't know why I didn't like try these before. Um, I think just with my bad experience with like fountain pens in the past, like I kind of steered away from the dipping it in my own ink. You know, I kind of steered away from that kind of a thing, but it just felt right right now. It just felt like the right thing to try for. I'm not saying I'll never use those pens again. You know, they may come in handy. You know, it's 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 just good to have a variety of tools. You know, to to try out and to have on hand. You know, having a few different ways to do things is better than just one. You know, sometimes. So, you know, if I ever need more detail or more control, I can have like a really thin. You know, I have some really thin microns I can use. Put some thin lines down. You know, it's just I have an I have an assortment of tools at my disposal. And what I also wanted to do, the reason I got this ink, this this whole thing of ink here, I also ordered some thicker paper. Um have a good one, Amy. Thanks for tuning in. Um Uh, Cubs win asked, does ink wash out and pen return to clear? Yes, it does. It does. The pen returns to clear. So far, uh, from what I've tried, it, it does. It seems to do that. You know, it says it's India ink, so the, I think the ink is waterproof, but it does rinse off of the glass. It doesn't seem to stain or, or anything like that uh, on the glass. So I got some thicker toned paper. And I thought we could eventually, I want to do like maybe ink washes, like maybe some, uh, you know, black ink washes and stuff. So there's some subjects that would, in the past I can think of, not specifically, but I know there were some cases in the past where if it would have been so much quicker if I did like a wash of, of ink with just a little bit of different value rather than like sitting there and, and shading it all in. It would have just been so much easier for me to just, you know, put a wash down of ink. So maybe something I try uh, soon on that thicker toned gray paper that I bought. You know, th that thicker paper, it's a little more expensive. 
you know, instead of getting a sketchbook of 50 sheets, I only get 15. So it's, it's a little more pricey, but not much to be honest. It's still very cheap, you know, 10 bucks for, you know, $1, less than a dot, like 80 cents per sheet or something like it's not that big a deal. It seems. It's just more expensive than this sketchbook, which is 25 cents a page or something, you know? Okay. So trying to figure out how much ink to take off when I dip it. But like I said, I'm still, this is my first drawing using these. So a little learning curve to figure out, right? There we go. It's got a little, little chin shadow there. Okay. Okay, that spot was a little too big there, but it's okay. We'll roll with it because we have no choice. Once I put it down, it's there. And nothing we can do. So I'm gonna try to simplify this. Let's let's remember to simplify. Yeah, sometimes the microns can be scratchy when they get old, like the tips just get, they're not smooth anymore. What's your favorite material to work with? You know, I like watercolors and I like pen and ink drawings. That's pretty much my thing, uh, at least at this point in my career <laughs> or whatever you want to call it. This point in my journey, my art journey. Just going to suggest some texture here and there. It's got some little dark spots of shadow and stuff. I think this will be helpful to get across the texture of him since there's really not much shading on this one. So everything's very subtle. So I'll just try to mimic that. I'll just try to mimic, you know, that's kind of why I picked him today because I, I didn't know if I wanted to do a lot of shading today. So I was feeling a little lazy. Uh, so I picked something gray that would just go fit in with the paper. You know, I just put a little bit of white down, a little bit of shadows here and there, and you know, call it a day. That's my hope anyway. That's what I was hoping for. I didn't know the, the sketch part of it would take, you know, 20 minutes. But it always happens. Here we go, we got a little bit of Form over here, over here as well. Still trying to keep that grass in mind. I know I'm going to put some grass in front of all this, so I'm not going to get too crazy with it. See, and it's cool because the dip, dipping the ink, it takes like two seconds. You know, it's not even like it's not like a, such a pain. That, oh, I got to keep redipping it, like. It takes like two seconds to dip it. It's not a big deal. Oh, Cubs win. Cubs win. Here we go. I am going to try some colored ink in the future. I want to buy some. I bought some blue microns. So check that out. We got some blue ink. Um, but I, I decided I want to get some blue ink of this. Like a dip and maybe like some red or sepia or something. Just different colors. Kind of like you said. But we got some blue ones. I'm going to experiment with these next, prop possibly, um, in the future. So those would be cool. Cool to try. Yeah, it's definitely a good idea. It's, it's make the whole drawing colored ink. Um, you know, we're, we're experimenting here. We got, I got a lot of experiments to try out, you know. I'm, I'm, I've been pretty slow on experimenting, I, w I will say. Um, so 
Have a good one, Tomcat. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, thanks, Braille Gamer, for dropping in and uh, giving a like on the video. Thanks for tuning in. Also, everybody uh, tuning in, be sure to hit the like button, folks. If you like what you're seeing here, hit the like button to support this video, support my channel. Greatly appreciate it. And uh, real quick, I'll just tell you guys, if anybody, anybody who, knew, who is new here or watching the video, be sure to check out my website, shaferfineart.com. And we got some watercolors over there you can check out, pen and ink drawings. And a bunch of other stuff, blog posts, new blog posts every week. I have a support page, so if you feel like you like my videos or whatever, you want to donate to me or support me in some way, there's multiple ways to do that. Definitely check it out. And uh, yeah, let me know what you think. Check it out. Appreciate it. Thank you guys for letting me share that, being patient. Just helps for anybody who may, might watch the replay, you know, never tuned in before. Let's check out my website. All right, we're having some trouble here. Don't worry. Try to figure this out. Let's try again. Seems there's one side of the this glass pin that doesn't really, when I rotate it, doesn't really like to write. Yeah, like right there. Either that or just the ink's not flowing on that one. I'll have to figure this thing out. It's gonna take a little while. But that's all right. I'm patient. Or I'm just holding it too much at an angle, you know? There we go. Let's see. I got some little... See, can we do pointillism here? Can we do dots? Oh, we can. We can do dots. Of course we can do dots. Look at that. That's nice. Yeah, I'm not really going to know what kind of shading is needed here until I put the white on, I think, you know. That's what I'm thinking. Why does he look so mad? Why does he look mean? <laughs> Something in the eyes. He's just missing his whiskers, you know. I think that's what it is. Put some texture up here. Okay, ready to dip it. One, two. There we go, back in business. Oh, just suggesting some hairs and texture here. A little bit of changes in his, his little fur coat, you know. Looks really cool. I think it's getting there. I think we're getting there. Just shade this a little bit darker. A 
one, two, three, boom. Come on, come on. Where's the ink? <clears throat> okay. going on orange what's happening well, i'm glad you woke up at 5 a.m today guess you could catch the stream then glad to hear that's pretty early didn't even know there was a five o'clock at that time of day thought there was only one it's the time that i stream 5 p.m at night in the evening Yeah, I'm liking this so far. I think this is starting out pretty well. Pretty good. And I really like this pen. You know, it's not perfect, but I think part of it's user error. I'm still trying to figure it out a little bit. But these things, it's going to take a little time to get... It takes time to adapt to new materials, you know, and really, like, figure out how to dip it and then how much to wipe off, you know, because you don't want a whole big glob of ink on the tip, so... Um, yeah. What's going on, Dorian, on, uh, Facebook? This pin isn't actually, it's not much more difficult to manage, to be honest. I mean, compared to, like, something like this, like, yeah, I guess so. I mean, it's a little more difficult, right? You gotta have, you gotta have the, the ink. You gotta be careful not to drop the glass. But other than that, it's not that, it's really not that much more difficult. Um... You just dip it in the ink, wipe, I just wipe it off one side, spin it, wipe it off on the other, and then it seems ready to go after that. I just, you know, if there's no ink flowing out, then I just kind of twist it a little bit, kind of rotate it, and I just keep doing that until ink comes out, and it seems fine. But yeah, I know some people may not be into it. I wasn't into it. I had, That's why I never used these <laughs> until now. You know, I've been doing pen and ink almost like over a year and a half now and I just this is the first time I've ever used this kind of pen so pretty crazy but thanks to everybody watching on Facebook and Twitch and everywhere anyway is there a regular schedule of when you stream or just when you can which days um yeah there's not a regular schedule yet I'm trying to get to that but uh if I do stream it's going to be like Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. Those are kind of my streaming days if I am streaming. And it's it's always at the same time, you know, 5, 10 p.m. Pacific Standard Time in the U.S. Uh, but, you know, this week I didn't do Monday or Tuesday. I just had a lot going on. So I'm trying to stream today and tomorrow. Um, I kind of just take Wednesdays off. You know, I had, I had another idea for my Wednesdays, but I'm going to wait on it for a little while until I feel like it's the right time to do what I want to do on Wednesdays. Um, but for now, yeah, Wednesdays are kind of like, it gives me a break in the week of break and streaming, kind of relax a little bit, work on other things, just chill out and uh, helps me plan the next two days, you know, Thursday Friday, so. Hope that makes sense. All right, I think that's probably enough little dots and shading and everything for this thing, for now at least. Um, yeah, it's, it seems like enough. It seems realistic enough. He seems good. I'm gonna put some grass. Let's see, let's test this thing for like long lines, right? So we can Wow, pretty good. That one was pretty good, right? Let's see, how many can I do? Just one? 
There we go. Okay, I found a place where the ink is flowing. It's really nice. Yeah, I mean, it makes pretty good lines. Look at that. And you get a nice, sometimes you get a nice little dry brushing look to it. That's kind of cool. You know, and you don't have to press it hard at all. Like you don't press hard when you're using these. Like there's no, there's literally like no effort. It's just, you're just dragging the ink over the, dragging the pen over the page. You know, there's no struggle here of like pressing hard or doing anything. Just if anyone's wondering. And it's really light pressure. Yeah, we're putting this bunny in some tall grass, you know, make it look like a little bunny. And we'll go, we'll add some little flowers and stuff. Maybe. I really like that effect with the watercolor I did last week with the, with the flowers. So I thought maybe we could try it again. And it was just kind of fitting for this particular drawing, I felt, feel like. And draw more clumps, little clumps. So, cool. Uh, what brand of ink? You know, I don't really know. Uh, this is what I've got so far. Bombay Black. Dr. P.H. Martin's Bombay Black ink. Yeah, I, I don't really know. Um, I, I just knew, I knew I probably wanted to get India ink. Because um, I think that, I think India ink is like pretty... Um, Permanent, from what I've heard. You know, I think the Microns use... Do they use India ink? No, it just says archival ink. Um, I could have swore they use India ink too, but I guess not. So the black ones say archival ink. Yeah, they don't say anything either. Yeah, anyway. Um, yeah, I'm still kind of testing everything, you know, it's all experimentation, so as long as you get something that just seems good, it seems like it might be good quality, you know, read the reviews, read a few reviews and see what people say, you know. I really love drawing grass. It's very like therapeutic or something like not therapeutic, but like it's meditative, you know, it's something that's so abstract and like you don't have to like, doesn't have to look, I mean, I guess it does have to look a certain way because it does have to look kind of grass like, right? I mean, it has to look like grass, but it doesn't, it's so abstract and like, what am I trying to say? Like, it doesn't have to be perfect, but it kind of does because it has to look like grass, right? So like, it does have to be perfect, but it's it's perfect in an imperfect way. What am I even saying? I, I don't know. It, it's, it's hard to explain what I'm trying to say. All the smart people out there will understand what I'm saying. I don't know. Um, I don't know, maybe some dumb people understand it too, but not hating, just saying, but still like some interesting angled lines. I think that's enough grass. I think he seems like he's in the environment probably. But I could sit here and draw it all day, like. 
Because we'll probably put some white grass in too, you know? I think. Right? Okay. Kind of got some weird angles going on here, but I mean, it is what it is. Um, perfectly imperfect. Yeah, exactly. Um, is it like a quill tip? Uh, yeah, I guess it's kind of like a metal nib, you know? How much am I thinking of perspective when I'm drawing? Um, not, I mean, when I'm drawing something like this, I mean, I'm not really thinking of perspective at all. Like, I, there's nothing that's like in perspective here, really, that I can think of. Uh, yeah, I mean, the, the yeah, for this, like, there's nothing dealing with perspective, you know? that much so i don't think i'm really thinking of perspective with this but if i'm doing like architecture or something I mean, you got to really make sure perspective of the windows and stuff no it is a glass nib yeah it's glass the whole thing is glass it's just a big glass pin um it's just dipped in black ink so let's do some white let's do some white on this and see uh Am I adding watercolor? Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna add like flowers, kind of like last week with the lamb. I kind of really like that effect, so it just seemed fitting for this one. So he's got a little white nose and a little white paw. And I'm gonna put some white on his ears too, because they're kind of white looking-ish. And maybe a little white on this side or something, but mostly on his nose. Kind of like a focal point, I guess, huh? It's all white nose. Underneath his nose, too, he has these little white areas. So I've never really used this, like, pen on a drawing, actually. I, I know I tested it last week a little bit, but this is the first time I'm really using it. I'm really experimenting today. A bit. Just a bit. But I, I like this. I like how it feels. I like how it looks. It's pretty nice. You know? This little paint pen marker thing. Looks really good. Looks really nice. Um, we got some like whiskers and stuff here. I, like, I'm afraid to put these in. They're going to be like too dark. I almost need Let's get the jelly roll this jelly roll pen. I just need like his, his eyelash whiskers are not very dark or bright. I'm very bright, I guess you could say, because they're not dark, right? They're bright. Yeah, they're not very bright. Oh gosh, that was crazy. All right, he's got some crazy whatever. Eyebrows, no big deal. We'll just give him like crazier whiskers, I guess. I should probably be doing like the whiskers last, right? But oh well, I'm doing them now. We're doing it now. We'll do it live. Yeah, I'm not the best at, I'm not the best at like drawing whiskers, you know. He kind of looks really crazy. But maybe that's too many. Let's stop. Let's go somewhere else. 
Let's see. There's like a little white paw. Should we put that in? I guess we will. What else can I put on here? Kind of needs like some other highlighted areas to bring us away from all these crazy whiskers. I wonder if we can like get rid of some of those. They're a little too bright, huh? Good thing I didn't use this bright pen with them. Soap and water cleanup. Uh, you mean for the for this thing for this nib? You don't even need. From my experiment experience so far, I didn't even need soap. Um, maybe if you get some on your hands, you might need soap. But uh, I didn't. I didn't need soap. I just dip it right in the water here in my water thing, and it, it kind of cleaned it off. I think because it's glass, it just like goes off the glass really easily. You know, it comes off the glass really easily. So, for me, I didn't have trouble. So far. No trouble so far. Just put some white fur over here, I guess. I don't know. I have no idea. I feel like I ruined it with all the whiskers. Shouldn't have put that many. Now he just looks crazy. Looks like a wild bunny. A little wild. We'll put some reflected light over on this side a little bit. But most of the light will be like this side, maybe. Yeah, not very strong lighting in this one at all, so it's pretty difficult to like shade this kind of a thing because there's no real clear light source, you know? It's like kind of coming from this side, but not really. So I'm kind of just like trying to make it look decent, you know? Trying to make something out of this thing. Maybe a little bit of fur here, light fur on his nose area. Eh, maybe not. They all disappeared anyway, so that's kind of good. Well, we definitely need like, needs like a light dot on his eyes. That'll bring him to life. There we go. It's always those dots in the eyes. It's kind of bring things to life, you know. Don't even need the strong one, the second one that strong. Just a little bit. There we go. Try to create more of a light source, maybe.
Might be lighter on this side. Kind of overdoing the strokes today, you know? It's all right, though. It's all right. No worries. No worries, folks. We just keep chugging along. Keep, we'll get through it. We can do it. I'm gonna create some shadows here or something. I don't know. Need like a shadow underneath him or something. Maybe on this side. Bit of a shadow. Looks so dark because it's. I guess I gave a little stronger light, huh? A little stronger appearance. I'll try to get rid of some of these whiskers or something. I don't know. Okay, well, I don't want to overdo it. And I probably already have. The important thing is that I tried. But we haven't even got to the watercolor yet, so I should probably just get into that before I ruin this thing even more, right? Right, right, right. So... I'll show you how I clean this thing off. Just dip in this water, it comes right off. If I just swirl it around like this. See, all you gotta do is, now, when it's wet, I'm just gonna put it on the paper towel over here. I'll show you one second. It's kind of drying. It seems the ink kind of dried on the glass a little bit. It's been on there too long, you know? But you can see, it mostly came off. It's just a little dry. I got to just scrub it a little bit. But, you know, if I just if I just soak that in water for like a minute, that'll come right off on a paper towel. Pretty sure. You know, I picked this. I picked this subject today because I, I didn't want to like overshade it, and I kind of overshaded it. I don't have any colors of other Posca paint pens, so nope. There's no green grass to be had. I'm gonna do colorful flowers though. So you can see, pretty much almost came off. Like this stuff's just dry on there, so I just need to I just need to scrape a little bit, just kind of see it comes right out once you you just get it out. It comes right off. It's just a bit of a pain if it dries on there like that, but like I said, if you just soak it for a minute, it won't be a problem. So I'll leave that in water for now. Put the cap on this ink and. Uh, yeah, there we go. I guess I'll figure out what color flowers we want. You know, I did pink last week, so I kind of want to stay away from pink. You know, we could try like yellow. Could try yellow. Could try. What other color flowers are there? There's purple. We could do purple flowers. We could do this yellow ochre kind of yellow, more of a natural yellow flower. We could do yellow and purple. Yellow ochre and purple flowers? I don't know. I'm gonna use this small little brush. This seems, this works really well for these little little dabs of color. So, I don't know, we could try. Um,
Yellow, yellow, yellow. Okay, cool. Red. Well, red's kind of like pink. But I could do red too. But, uh, yeah. I don't know how good... Well, we know the yellow ochre will stain pretty well, so... Okay, let's try it, I guess. Let's try... I'm gonna... I'm gonna wet some color here. We can st we'll just start with a little bit of yellow ochre. Maybe I'll just stop with yellow ochre. I should try graffiti. You mean like action in real life graffiti? Doesn't really sound like my thing. You have to leave the house for that, right? You have to like go outside and stuff. Oh yeah, an old toothbrush. That's a perfect idea, Romare. He says a toothbrush would be helpful to clean off the old, clean off the pin there. Yeah, exactly. That's, you just have to have the right tool, right? You know, that's very true. Um, yeah, and you gotta have like spray cans and stuff for like graffiti and all that. Yeah, I don't know. I'm more of a minimalist, man. I'm, I'd rather, you know what I'd rather do? I'd rather go out and do a plain air watercolor of someone painting graffiti. <laughs> Uh, why did you say G's, Amanda? G's what? Glad to hear that, Blake. Thanks for tuning in. Okay, uh... So you guys think these yellow flowers will look cool? I mean, I guess it really doesn't matter, because I'm just going to add them anyway. Uh, whether you guys like it or not, so... I really don't care. Um... Let's see. We can add some in front of the bunny too. It gives it a real, you know, that color is very interesting. It gives it like an old, like an old illustration kind of look, you know, like a, like this is, it's like from the 1800s or 1700s or whatever old hundreds from hundreds of years ago. Kind of cool looking. It's pretty interesting. So don't think that when I'm putting these down, I'm randomly doing it. It's not random. You know, I'm, 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 I'm putting these down in a certain way with certain spacing and certain angles and stuff to give it this certain natural look, you know? Seriously. Um, it's something you just have to feel out, you know? Like, oh, should there be one in the middle here? Probably somewhere, let's see, maybe this way. You know, you kind of have to just go with the flow of it, but. He's got some dirty old little flowers. You know, I could, you know, it would be cool. We can do like some stronger yellow on top of it, maybe. For some of them, you know, just so that like, yeah, that'd be cool. Let's try it. Let's try it. So we'll have like a little stronger bit of yellow for some of them. Only the special flowers get a little bit of stronger yellow. And it's just going to give another, I feel like it's going to give it another bit of dimension to it. Because it'll just, instead of being just flat color, it'll have like this secondary kind of color to it. Addy wants the bunny. Of course. Of course. So my, my yellow is highly contaminated with green here, so I'm trying to uh, clean it off. <laughs> it's not really working. Come on. Okay. Let's try to... Both of my yellows are highly contaminated. One of them's contaminated with red, and one of them's contaminated with green. Contaminated. Unhaminated. Here we go. 
can't talk today. Okay, let's let's try it. Let's try it. Let's see what this is gonna look like. This might look really stupid, but it might look cool too. Maybe if we add like a little brighter yellow in some areas. You know, it's oh, that's pretty bright, huh? Oh, it looks cool. It's cool. You know, it's gonna distract from the bunny a little bit, but uh, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine, guys. Just relax. Oh, that was big. See, just gives a little more spice, right? Well, I don't know. Is it good? I don't know. Just, I think it looks cool. Maybe. Might look cool. See, and the yellow always kind of fades down too. So it'll, it'll start out looking pretty bright and then it kind of fades a little bit. So it's not too crazy looking. Oh, I didn't want to do that. The one right in front of him. There we go. Well, I think that's enough flowers, I guess, right? Does it look like flowers? <laughs> Butterflies, flowers, something. One of the two, it's fine with me. Either one's cool. As long as it looks, I don't know. It adds some interest to the thing, right? It adds some interest. Makes it interesting, I guess. I don't know that it's like the most pretty thing ever. But... It looks better in person, to be honest. Um, yeah, this one's very weird. It has a weird light, you know, and the light's not very strong, so it's just this weird kind of weird looking scene. So let's see this. I've been letting this glass pin sit in water. So let's see what how this thing will clean off. So I'll show you guys now. Yeah, you need like a, I need like a toothbrush to get into those ridges. But it does come right off the glass, it's very easy. You just need something to like, just scrub the, scrub in the little ridges there. And it'll come right out, come right off. Yeah, I can put my fingernail in the the ridges there and it comes right off. So it's not a big deal. Just takes a little bit of a little bit of time. But yeah, pretty cool. It seemed to work really well. I have a I, I have a I used to have a bad I used to have a toothbrush for my art and stuff. I think I got rid of it. I used to have one. But I think I got rid of it because I never used it. And now I could use it. That's, you know, this is why hoarders exist because it's like I needed that toothbrush. Like I should have kept that thing. Now I need it. Gosh darn it. Oh well. It's all good. Yeah, I think the white nose really is the, the key focal point here, huh? It's pretty much the thing drawing us to this art up here. You know, the only thing I could really do, like, more is, like, add more shadowing on one side or something to really, like, separate it from the rest of everything, maybe. You know, there's, not, there's a nice bit of shadow down here, which is cool. But, you know, maybe stronger shadow on the ear here and down this side. Uh, it might help, you know, I don't know. Um, 
it might help separate it from the background a little bit. Maybe, maybe that's what we need. Let's try it. Let's try it. We'll just put a little bit more, a little bit more black, not too much, you know, we just need some separation, I think, from the background. So let's try it. Maybe just a stronger outlining too, in some in some spots, you know. Maybe a thicker line on the ear here could be helpful. That that actually helped. That actually helped. I think just a little bit more dynamic line work actually will bring this thing to life. You know, maybe over here there's some areas that. Darken slightly. Yeah, I think that's really, it just needed something like that, you know, and that's a bit thick, but that's okay. You know, it's really easy to put down a lot of darkness with this glass pen. You know, if you just kind of scribble, like a lot comes out, you know, so. Let's take a chance here, you know, let's just take a chance. Yeah, that, that, that's creating a lot of form, huh? That's creating a lot more form. That's what we want, we want it to look like 3D. A little more 3D. So let's just keep going with it a little bit. Maybe this ear, we can make it a little more furry-ish, possibly. Maybe some more stray hairs over here. Up here. But maybe we can make this ear shaded a bit more. You know, at this point, it's kind of like you got to stop looking at the photograph and like figure out like what does the drawing itself need, you know? Like what's going to make it a better drawing and you see i really didn't need all that like detail on the bunny because it's he's kind of like lost in all this grass and stuff so which is fine i mean that's kind of what i wanted you know we can even draw black lines over on top of the watercolor and that could give us a little bit more depth too you know to some of the make it look like there's grass in front of some of the flowers It's like all the flowers aren't in front. It's just a subtle thing. Um, and it's pure muscle, yeah. Why do I make the drawing so small in comparison to the size of the paper? Um, I don't know, it's just like, I don't know, I just naturally draw small. It's just a personal preference thing. Part of it, to be honest, part of it is because uh, for time on these live streams, you know, I, I really only want to take like one, maybe two hours at most. And if I drew something a lot bigger, it's going to take a lot more time. I mean, imagine if I had to fill in a lot more grass or like do everything. Like if I, if I made this thing twice as big, I mean, it could take a lot more time, you know, with the tools that I'm using, you know, these small ink pens and stuff, you know. If I was using, like, paintbrushes and stuff, like doing a watercolor painting, I could do stuff a little bit bigger, possibly, but... Yeah, kind of just timing, but also, like Romare said, you know, this you can really frame, like, an 8x10 with this 9x12 paper. You can frame an 8x10 pretty nicely, I feel like. So, um, yeah, I guess those are my reasons. It's just kind of what I've naturally done. Some, some of, some of them are larger, some of them are smaller. It just, I'm kind of a minimalist, you know, so it kind of just works out. Sometimes they are too small for me, you know, I'm like, uh, oh, I did it too small or I, sometimes I draw it on the paper in like a, not a good spot. Sometimes I go too low and then I'm like, oh crap, like good thing the paper is a bit bigger because then I can, 
you know, whoever buy if someone buys it, they can just frame it like an eight by 10 and they can frame it a little bit better. You know, so it gives me a little bit room to, to kind of mess up as well. All your details took the attention away from the whiskers. Good job. Okay, cool. I guess that helps. <laughs> yeah, the whiskers were a little crazy, huh? The whiskers were a little crazy. Try to kill some of them. Such a strong word, kill. Gotta kill the white here. Kill this... The whiskers I just mean tone them down. Such strong language. Okay. Um, oh, why did I do that? Gosh darn it. Well, I don't know how to fix that. Um, <laughs> uh, Left and learned with that one. Don't smudge the ink, the black ink when it's wet. Oh, gosh. Well, I don't know how to fix that. Uh, I'm just going to have to put white ink on top of it and just kind of give it a mid-tone. And I'm going to quit right there because that's telling me I'm getting a little too close. That's a little too close for comfort. That's just a little too close of the messing it up. Yeah, not bad, not bad. You know, able to kind of fix it a little bit. But, yeah. Let's call it a day there, folks. Um, before I ruin it anymore. What do you guys think about the flowers, man? I'm still I'm still torn on the flowers. Like, should it be, like, more flowers? Like, they, they seem like... You know, I like I like them over here. I like them over here, but it just seems... Seems like they get lost in the front here. I don't know. Thank you, uh, Kaylee. I appreciate it. I try. I try to do good art. But, yeah. Uh, I guess it's okay. I guess it's okay. Let's uh, let's take a look at it on my crappy webcam. So, yeah, not bad, I guess. You know, his little white nose really sticks out. It's kind of cool. His little white nose. Offset the yellow with some purple flowers. See, I don't, I, I don't. Yeah, I agree, Uncle Bosco. I agree. Oh, dandelions. Yeah, they kind of do, right? There are. I was wondering, like, what yellow flower is there? There's like poppies, I think, that are kind of goldenish. Dandelions. Dandelions, yeah, or yellow. It's true. Yeah, too many more, and I risk ruining it. It just seems like not enough. It just seems like. I don't know. Maybe it's okay. Maybe I'm just, maybe I'm looking at it too long already. Maybe I should call it quits here. And I'll probably like it more after I eat dinner, like always. I always eat dinner and then I'm like, oh, it looks, it looks really good. I just needed a break from drawing it and looking at it. You know, I, I think the glass pen is a, a success though, right? I mean, I think this turned out really well. It's just the cleaning. I need to, I need like a little toothbrush. I can clean this thing and like, 20 seconds if I had like a something to scrub it with you know like uh you know maybe this washcloth could scrub it really easily let me see that kind of might be better than a paper towel can get in all the little ridges and stuff if I make it wet let's see just trying trying here 
see. Yeah, I think like I think you definitely need like an old toothbrush if you get one of these. Well, thanks, Uncle Bosco. I appreciate it. I'm glad you're making sense of my crazy drawing here. <laughs> I'm glad someone's making it make is is giving a sense to all of it. Um, yeah, I definitely need like an old toothbrush to get all this dried ink out. So yeah, if you take like an hour on your drawing, you're gonna it's gonna dry on the on the glass. It's gonna dry a little bit. Well, anyway, folks, um, I don't know what else to say. I guess I guess this one's a success. I don't I don't know. Um, it feels like it. I think at this point I'm a little unsure, but yeah, alcohol could probably get it off, but it's, it's more, it's not that it's like stuck on there. It's more, it's more the fact that I guess it is kind of stuck on there. Oh wait, let me see if I wet it. It's just more the fact that it needs to be wet and just scrubbed a little tiny bit. It's just the fact that it's it's grooved. You know, there's there's these these grooves in the 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 pin, and you can't really these little washcloths and paper towels don't really get into the grooves. So if you look at this thing, let's see if I can zoom in on it pretty well. Pretty good, hopefully. Yeah, my camera's not that good quality. But it's basically grooved, you know? It's all, each little spiral here is like a triangle. It's like these, these grooves, like that. And the ink sits inside of those grooves. See the little points there? Where I don't know how they make this kind of tip, but it's really interesting. But yeah, see, it's all grooved. There's just a little bit of dried ink on some of those that uh, it needs to just be wet and just like scrubbed real quickly, you know. And like a washcloth, it's just hard to get in there. But I think even if I dipped it in ink and used it like this, it would still work fine. Like it would still have no problems. Like I don't think that dried ink is really a big deal. Uh, it may become a big deal after a while, but it's better to just have it clean, you know, just let it like sit in water and then just scrub it with the old toothbrush. So I'll probably do that after the stream here soon. But, um, thanks for tuning in folks. Hope you guys enjoyed this little bunny. Hope you had a good time. It was, it was a little challenging. Surprisingly, I was, I was challenged by this little bunny. This little bunny challenged me. Can't believe it. I'm still looking at it, determining like, mm, what else could I do? What could I do to make this thing better? Let me squint at it. What? It's just not super strong lighting, you know? I think it's fine though. I think it's okay. Anyway, have a good one folks. Be sure to check out my website. Like I said, shaverfineart.com. We got some other pen and ink drawings. Look at these. with. with Flowers there on the lamb. That's pretty nice. The strong light. See, there's a lot of flowers on that one. Huh, interesting. Got some watercolor paintings. Definitely check that out on my website. Yeah, I think this one's okay. I think it's okay. It's different. It's good. So, anyway, have a good one, folks. Take it easy. And uh, hopefully I'll see you tomorrow. We'll do watercolor on the next stream. Hopefully it'll be tomorrow. Same time, same place. You guys know where to find me. Thanks for tuning in. See ya. Peace.